I know they're never going to sue me. They're never going to sue me because the discovery for me would be terrible for them. Hi, beautiful people. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a fantastic Monday. Let's just get straight into this. You guys, KJ has been served by 7M. State of Minnesota, County of Wright, 7M Films Inc. and Robert Shin, Plaintiffs versus Catherine Mansky Paulson, aka Katie Joy, and without a crystal ball summons. The state of Minnesota to the above named defendants, you are being sued. The plaintiff has started a lawsuit against you. The plaintiff's complaint against you is attached in the summons. Do not throw this paper away. They are official papers that affect your rights. You must respond to the lawsuit even though it may not yet be filed with the court and there may be no court file number on the summons. You must reply within 21 days to protect your rights. You must give all mail to the person who signed the summons a written response called and answers within 21 days of the date on which you received the summons. She actually says, come on, counterclaims coming your way. Then she states, let's go. Discovery is about to get real. This is not filed in court. They have done pocket service. Now, before we go any further, though, for those that don't know what pocket service is, in Minnesota, it's, a un it's unique in the flexibility given to plaintiffs regarding the timeline of service. In Minnesota, a person can be served without any document being filed with the court. A person can be served by complaint and summons signed by the plaintiff's attorney in lieu of the court signature. The complaint and summons will look identical in all other ways and will ask for an answer. While this service tolls the statutes of limitation, it gives both parties a year to resolve the case before any document has to be filed with the court. A defendant on the receiving end of the hip pocket service can sometimes be confused because there is no court file number and no signature with the court documents. However, like a formal document commencing a lawsuit with the courts, the hip pocket document still needs to be responded to and is valid and is a valid form of service when done correctly. Now, it goes on and it says, they have done a hip pocket service which avoids the courts in Minnesota. We will vigorously defend the claims and we will file counter suits against them for their pages smearing me. This will not stop by coverage of the situation. They are using Lydia's lawsuits against them as defamation made by me. Lydia also spoke to multiple media outlets. Additionally, they are using statements by former members as comments I made. Please email me every screenshot you have of disparaging comments they've made about me on all of their pages at withoutacrystalball78gmail.com. Now you guys, let's just be clear. When Katie Joy read the lawsuits between Mr. Shin and Ms. Chung, she read it and gave her own interpretation of it, okay? Which, honestly speaking, even on her live that she did last night, Sunday night, she was getting the documents mixed up. And I will go into it with, in another video. But when Lydia Chung spoke to these outlets, they spoke about what she said. But Katie Joy also stated as fact a lot of things and she said according to her sources. So, with that said, now that she's facing this lawsuit, isn't she liable and what she does best? Wouldn't she give up her sources to save her own ass? That's what I'm thinking. And if she says, game on, and she's talking about discovery. Now, the page on Instagram that I follow without a crystal ball or clue that I know that they've said as in regard to them calling Katie out and setting the record straight, okay? There is not one thing that I've come across that is false. Maybe I've missed something, but a lot of it is stating Katie's own words or what Katie has done to people. So anybody else that got 
things that are disparaging to Katie, all well and good, send it off. Now, it's time for Katie to put her money where her mouth is. It's time for the rubber to hit the road because she was the one to call Robert Chen out and tell him, you're not gonna sue me, remember? Go back to the live I posted yesterday, the Instagram live she did. She threatened, in my opinion, that's a threat. If you wanna sue me, everything will come out. So, all we gotta do is sit back and just watch everything unfold. Because Katie Joy stated a lot of things as fact, or she blamed sources. So it's only for the courts to decide now, unless once again, Katie Joy is going to settle, give them what they want, shut her mouth and keep it moving. And then she'll come and tell us she won. And then as I'm filming this, I just took a peek at her Instagram one more time. And it seems as though Katie Joy wants to drag this out in the court of public opinion, or she feels she has the need to explain to the public but anyway, this is what she says. Defending social media presence. Defending Katie Joy runs and uses various social media, including but not limited to, A, without a crystal ball on Instagram, B, Carl's Yuck Instagram, C, exposing 7M Instagram, D, without a crystal ball YouTube, E, without a crystal ball Facebook, F, without a crystal ball Twitter, G, Katie Joy WOACB Twitter, H, without a crystal ball, TikTok. Defending Katie Joy holds herself as an entertainment. Everything else is cut off. Defending Katie Joy makes producers and uploads, and as you can see, it's cut off. And then she states, without a, uh, exposing 7M and Carl's Yuck are not me. No clue who they belong to, but I'm not being held liable for accounts that aren't mine. I would have thought that no better than to know that I don't use alter accounts for publishing. I don't post to TikTok, it's so, so it's irrelevant. The second Twitter account I don't use. How do we know all this, Katie Joy? Because in my opinion, if I can remember, you were the one that was bragging on how easy it is to make sock accounts. So I suggest you keep this for the courts, my dear. Don't drag this out in the court of public opinion. It's time for you to put your big girl panties on and deal what you need to deal with. Because you have dragged this out. You have exposed people's private lives. So now it's time for you to answer. So you guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another and don't forget, make good memories. Bye guys.